Hey beauty, today I'm going to be sharing some Amazon spring dresses. I try to find a good variety. So I have bodycon style dresses, short fluttery dresses, long midi dresses, and even like dressy casual dresses. We've got a lot to cover. Grab a drink. I've got mine right here. Grab a snack, get comfy really quickly. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra. I post lots of fashion hauls and and DIY hair content. We are definitely bougie on a budget around here. So if you are too, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love it so, so much if you joined the fam. Now that we know each other, let's get into the dresses. <laughs> let's start with this gorgeous strapless knit bodycon midi dress. It does have the knot style on the boobs. You've probably seen this in a top version which I do actually own and I love. It's actually in a color very close to the top that I'm wearing it now, which is by Abercrombie, by the way. And I am filming that haul right after I film this one. That's just another reason for you to hit the subscribe button because I don't want you to miss that haul. Back to this dress though, because it is absolutely gorgeous. I was just wearing a strapless basic bra and I felt secure in this. It does have a tighter fit right here in the back, but it is still stretchy. I didn't notice any slipping or anything like that. The fabric is a ribbed knit, so it is really stretchy. It comes in many other colors as most items from Amazon do. It does have a slit in the back, just right down the middle. I did order my true size medium in this one, and I think it fits to perfection. I really love the length on this. I am five one for reference. I bet you you're gonna see a lot of other people share this dress because it really is that good. I do usually try to find a white dress that I really love that I can recommend for brides because I remember being a bride. White dresses are hard to find. I was looking for like a corset style top dress. I feel like it's very trendy right now. This one does come in other colors. It is also double lined all the way down on the inside so it's not see-through. It does have some ruching on the side. The strap on the back are adjustable and it has that slit on the side. I will say that if I pull it straight down, it is kind of long on me, but I am a scruncher, so I just scrunch it up and I feel like it makes the dress not only more flattering, but it does help it fit me better lengthwise. And it does have a zipper closure. It does have like a satin-like sheen to it, so it does look very high-end. You could even get away with not even wearing a bra because the cups are fully lined and padded. It has a slight stretch to it, so it's a very comfortable. I did order my regular size medium in this white one as well. Other than having to scrunch it, I think the fit is perfect. I think I might wear this for mine and Josh's like anniversary dinner. This one I have shared before, but I wanted to include it in this video just because I feel like it's the perfect wedding guest or bridesmaid dress. It's very flattering. You're gonna be comfortable in it. I did grab my regular size medium in this one as well and I feel like it hugs my body really nicely but it's also loose and comfortable where I want it to be but also fitted where I want it to be. I just really love the fit of this one. It's fun and flowy on the bottom. It does have this fold over piece of fabric right here so that when it does the cowl neck you can still see that same style of fabric and I don't feel like the inside stitching shows very much. The straps are adjustable this blue color is absolutely gorgeous. Like most things on Amazon, it does come in multiple color options. This is a great basic that I've had in my closet for a couple years now, and I really love it. I ran across this one and I fell in love. It is a floral print and the colors are lavender, blue, orange, yellow. 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's one of those dresses that gives you a fun floral print. Even though it does have a little bit of white in there, it's mostly purple in person. I really like how it does the cow neck, but it's thicker on one side. I think that's a super cute detail. It is very stretchy and it does have the ruched part actually sewn in, so it drapes really nicely. This one is by Lon Laundry by Shelly Seagal. I grabbed it in a size six. It does have a zipper closure with a hook and eye closure on the top, a full slip style lining, super, super soft fabric. The straps in the back are adjustable and it has a really great fit. Definitely girly, fun, and flirty kind of vibe. I did come across this cow neck floral maxi dress that kind of had the same vibe as the other one, but was a little bit more affordable. This one, however, does have some white throughout the prints. It is a really nice little floral dress. It does have the cow neckline, the adjustable straps, and I grabbed this one in a medium. I think the fit is really nice. It does also have a slit on the side. And one thing I will say about this one is that the fabric is so incredibly soft and it has a nice stretch to it. This fabric is so soft that I would just pick it up and wear it just on a regular summer day. I have to try and style this one more casually, but I love that it's a maxi. I love how high the slit is. Love the cow neckline and the print is really pretty as well. All around, this was a great affordable find. This next dress I was thinking about wearing to my brother's graduation. I love that it has the gold rings on the side and the longer sash. I think that's a fun little detail. The sleeves aren't constricting, but they're flowy and really cute. It is a true wrap dress, so it does have two strings on the inside that you tie together and then you wrap this other part around and loop it through the rings. The bottom hemline of the dress is also really flowy. I grabbed this one in a size medium. It does come in multiple colors. I like the pleating on the boobs. This fit really nicely. It's so, so cute. This next dress, as soon as I saw it, I thought it would be so cute with those pink platforms from Walmart that Josh told me I was too old for. But then all of you on YouTube and Instagram convinced me to keep them. And then after I had decided to keep them, I ran across this on Amazon and I was like, yep, add to cart, check out immediately because that is the perfect dress for those pink shoes. I will say that the sleeves are slightly long. I wish they were a little bit shorter, but everything else about this dress, I absolutely love. The swirl 70s style print is so fun, but of course it does come in solid colors. They did also have this black on floral print that was really cute. Lots of girls in the reviews had the black one with the floral print. I was this close to buying that one. It does have functioning buttons all the way down and it does come with a matching waist tie. The length was great. I did prefer it when I tied the sash super tight and then kind of pulled it over. This is such a fun spring dress. I've really been itching for more color in my closet and this gives it to me. This next dress is by Paige DeSorbo. I think I'm saying her name right. I'm sorry if I'm not, but she is from Winter House. Some Bravo show that I actually don't watch. I mostly just watch The Housewives, but I need to get into these other shows because all that Vanderpump Rules drama has me wanting to binge Vanderpump Rules. Anyways, back to this dress. It is a true wrap style dress as well. This strap does go through a hole right here and then you just wrap it around and tie it on the side. I like that it has a folded style collar. The sleeves are slightly long on me. I think if I fold them up and add just like a button, I should be able to fix that because when I fold it up, it does lie well. It is double lined with the same fabric and 
and it feels very, very high end. I did end up sizing up to a large in this one based on the reviews. I like how it's kind of like drapey and kind of loose, but also flatters my waist at the same time. I love the color. It does have actual padding on the shoulders and I really like this. I think it's super fun. So I think if I don't wear the pink one for the graduation, I might wear this one. I'm not sure yet. I got this yellow dress because we are planning blue bonnet photos for the family this year and I thought yellow could be super cute up against the blue bonnets, but also also, Ellie loves wearing her bell dress, so I wanted to get a family photo of me and her both in a bell colored yellow dress because I think that'll be a great memory for us. So I came across this one and I really loved it. I like that it has the tie. I like the crisscross detail with all the ruching right here. It does have a stretchy shoulder area up here. so. You can wear it up in a square neck style or you can wear it down off the shoulder and it's super cute both ways. It does have the ruched gathered top on the boob area, super cute. The dress is more of like an A-line dress where it flows outward. It does also have a zipper closure in the back. I realized that I have it in the two-piece set, which I did actually try on for y'all. I'll talk about that one in just a sec because they are slightly different, but this one does have a nice lightweight flowy style fabric. Comes in lots of other colors. I did grab this one in my regular size medium and I think the fit is great. I probably could have sized down to a small just because the skirt was slightly, maybe like half an inch too loose right here in the hip area, I feel like. I think I might exchange it for a size down. It is also lined. I'm trying to see if it says what kind of fabric this is. 95% polyester, 5% spandex, but it doesn't look cheap or anything like that. It actually is a really nice fabric. This one I have actually had for a couple of years now, and this fabric is more of like a lightweight, sort of like cottony fabric. I don't see a tag. It's kind of like the same concept where it has the crisscross and the tie on the back. There is sort of a cutout in the back right here. It is actually stretchy, so it's very comfortable. The shoulder area is also stretchy. You could wear this up on your shoulder or off the shoulder as well. The sleeves are also stretchy right here where the ruffle is. And then the skirt does have a nice waistband up here on the top and then the back of it is also stretchy. Biggest difference between the skirt on this one and that one is that it does have a ruffle. I want to say that this set also comes in basic colors. Let's talk about the tiered maxi dresses on Amazon because there's lots of options. So this is the newest one that I picked up from Amazon this year. It does have a deep v-neck and an open sort of sleeve right here. I am petite though, so I didn't really like how it looked when I tied these two pieces together because it was pulling on the back, but then I still had a gaping right here. So I did have to tie these front two straps together and then just tuck these back straps in. I might just go ahead and cut the back straps, but I did want to, you know, show you the original dress before I cut anything off. I do really love this dress though when I tied it as a halter instead. It is double lined in the boob area. Area. You will probably have to wear sticky boobs with this one, but I wear sticky boobs a lot, so I don't really mind that. And I do get my sticky boobs on Amazon. I'll link those in the description box below. It's sort of like an empire waist and it is super stretchy all the way around. I also really love this ruffle right here. The tiered skirt part is 
really cute, flowy. The fabric is lightweight, super comfortable for day to day in the summertime, but also very cute to style for a family photo shoot or wear to a graduation. I love this heel color and it does come in other multiple options. It kind of sucks that the sleeves didn't work out, but you know, we're petite. We have to improvise sometimes and I'm not mad at it because it ended up being really cute and super comfortable. I do want to mention this one's very similar by Amazon The Drop and I've had this one since last year. I really love this one. It does actually have adjustable straps, but they are button style adjustables. So you don't see anything on the actual strap. I think that's a super cute detail, even though one of my buttons is coming loose. <laughs> I gotta fix that. Back part is also stretchy right here. It does have a really cute square neckline. It's lightweight and super flowy. This one does also have pockets, which I love. And this was a day-to-day -day piece for me in the summertime but I did also take family photos in this one and it photographed well. It was super cute, it was very comfortable. We took photos in between the fall and the summer. So it was still very hot outside and I was perfectly fine. But again, it was a day-to-day -day piece for me. I liked the length on it. It was great to wear with flats or with wedges. I love this one. Super, super comfortable, totally recommend. This one I did actually get last year, but. I got it later in the year. Don't think that I shared it in a video, but it is a wrap neckline and it has like a little triangle cutout detail right here. It is more of like an empire waist as well that does have a stretchy fit all the way around. It's a halter neck, which I really like. This one has a really beautiful orange and pink yellow print. It is actually a peacock, which I think is so cute with the florals. I absolutely love this print in this colorway, but it does also come in multiple other colors. This one also does have pockets which I love. The actual tiered skirt doesn't start until you get to the bottom hem, which I think is super cute. I think I'm gonna take it on vacation, which we did just book a beach vacation. I'm so excited for. I'm gonna have to start shopping for swimsuits. I'm so excited. And I haven't bought swimsuits since like two years ago. So I'm excited to see what's new on Amazon. Ding, ding, ding. There's another reason to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> this dress I actually have had for a couple of years now. It does have a sheared bodice right here on top. It is strapless, but it's very stretchy and comfortable. And it does have a nice ruffle right there at the top. I actually wore this one to Jace's Meet the Teacher when he was in first grade. He'll be going to third grade this year, which mind blown. It does have the classic Amazon floral print. You can find so many fashion pieces with this print and I recommend all of them because it's such a fun print. There's always so many fun, vibrant colors no matter which colorway you get. I've gone through tank tops, short dresses, long flowy maxi dresses in various colorways of this print and I've loved every single one of them. I really like that it has ruffles on the tiers and then on the bottom tier it has a larger version of that print. I love the length on this one and I did grab this in my regular size medium. This is one of my favorite dresses in my closet so I couldn't help but mention this one. I really hope that you enjoyed my picks today. As always I will leave my Amazon dresses shopping list in in the description box below. Amazon is a black hole of clothes and dresses. I wish I could get to them all, but I cannot. So I'm just gonna add all the cute dresses that I can find to that list. I hope you enjoy shopping it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye-bye.
Gonna mix my little beauty cocktail. I've been trying to drink this every day. I feel like my skin is looking so good. I'm just gonna mix this liquid IV. I have the lemon flavor right now, but I love most of their flavors, honestly. I'm gonna do two dropperfuls of this Biotin Collagen Keratin Saw Palmetto Drops. I do keep these in the fridge and I get them in a pack of two on Amazon. I feel like these work so much faster than gummies. You know, like the hair skin nail gummies. I've tried it all and I keep going back to the drops. Shake it up. These don't have like a nasty flavor. It's more of like a, like a fruity flavor. So it mixes well with liquid IVs. It mixes well with just regular water. Sometimes I'll put it in my pre-workout. I'm trying to regrow my hair in 2023 and I definitely need biotin and collagen for that. 